This bridge is being designed by what they call accelerated bridge construction, ABC. It's a technique where they build as much of the structure off-site or near to the site and then drive it in or lift it in place. And the whole reason behind this is that it's generally safer to build off-site than over the traveling public and it minimizes uh, construction uh, delays to traffic. But each stage, each construction phase has to be engineered, both the design and construction, to be adequate and safe for the loading and the support conditions of that particular stage. Accelerated bridge construction has been used for many years. I believe it started out in Utah and a number of states have picked up on it because they're looking to get the construction done faster with less disruption to the public. It's hard to know what the term stress test means for this particular bridge. Um, during the construction, it's done in stages. And at each stage, they'll have to check the stresses in the bridge to make sure they're not uh, too high for the condition of loading and supports that the bridge is in right then. So they were probably checking the stresses in the bridge. There are many factors that are involved in bridge construction. One is the materials themselves. Are they strong enough? Have they met uh, the strength requirements that are needed at the time they're in place? The construction techniques, how they're erecting the bridge, in what order they're erecting their bridge, and also the design and construction engineering uh, that looks at the loading and uh, support conditions at each stage of construction. They all have to be right and uh, to make sure that the bridge is a success. The highway over the seven lane uh, roadway. And here you can